All right, today I have Rao's chicken parmesan and I'm going to be making this. So what it says right here, it says that it's breaded chicken breast with marinara sauce and mozzarella over spaghetti with no preservatives, no artificial colors or flavors. It looks really good. I'm going to try this out and it says since 1896 and I'm not sure if it was made in 1896 and they just kept it in the refrigerator for over a hundred years or what. But I'm going to try it out because it looks good. It says um, to bake it for 60 minutes from the oven, but I'm actually going to make it in the microwave. And it says for in the microwave, cook it for nine minutos for 100. I read that wrong. Forgive me. So it says cook at 100% power for nine minutes. And then after that, it says cook at 50% power for eight minutes. So altogether, that is eight plus nine. Help me do the math. That's 17. All right, so 17 minutes of total cook time in a 1100 watt microwave. So I'm going to take this out of the box and it says, after you've done this, let it stand for about one minute and then remove carefully from the microwave and that the tray will be hot. Remove film before serving and enjoy. Make it your own. It says, you can also garnish it with uh, dusting grated Parmigiano, Reggiano, and freshly chopped Italian parsley. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and let's see what it is. Uh, so here is the chicken Parmigiano, chicken Parmesan. And does it say that I'm supposed to slit the... No, it does not say I'm supposed to slit the top of the film so i am going to go ahead and put it inside of the microwave so i'm going to go ahead and do that right now so i'll be right back i promise all right so the rouse is done and i'm going to heat it a little bit right here and i'm just going to simply pull back the the film part of it and get into this piping hot right now so I'm just gonna go ahead and try it so I'm gonna look at it a little bit look like it cooked a little bit too much in the center of it but I'm gonna go ahead and take my fork and my knife and I am going to slice a little bit of the chicken a little bit right here and to slice a little bit of the chicken, it looks tender, very tender. And go ahead and pull this up right here. This is a piece of the chicken right here. And get a little bit of pasta on it, and I'm gonna try it out really. Get a little bit of pasta on it. And then I'm gonna get a little bit of piece of chicken. Alright, so here it goes right here. So that's the pasta and the chicken right here. And a little bit of cheese that's coming out on the side. But I'm just going to try this right here quick, really quick. So, I'm going to... It's kind of hot. So, I'm going to go ahead and try this. Hot. It's a little bit too hot. But I'm going to take another temp after it cools down just a little bit. So, I'm going to go ahead and take this. Try to do another attempt. It's really good. Chicken tender. And the pasta is really... Try a little bit more of the pasta. The pasta is good. A little bit of cheese on this a little bit. And... Get that. This is just going to be the pasta right here. 
gonna try this a little bit. Really good. So that's Rouse made from home. Chicken Parmesan. 